Well, uh, hello again. Um, you see, I got in the last uh, months a small oscilloscope for uh, my hobby projects, and uh, this is uh, DCO112A from JTEC. That's the little one, and I may say it's doing a really nice job, at least uh, at uh, hobby level. But um, I was thinking about uh, connecting this one to the laptop, to the computer. So, um, on their web page, JTEC, they are saying that uh, they have a software already for uh, connecting some of uh, the oscilloscopes they are producing. But uh, I found out this one, it's not working with um, with the oscilloscope I have with this particular uh, 112A that's the application from JLab so I put this on but it's not working it's not connecting uh, I can't see anything from my oscilloscope the connection it will be of course from the micro USB to a USB uh, port on my laptop so, in the meantime, I found something else. Um, on JTAC forum, there is a person who was writing a software. It's called PC Scope application. So, this uh, can be found here. I put a, I'm going to put a, a link where to get it. And uh, after uh, after a few tweakings, I found out this it's working. So first of all, what we have to do, we have to download PC Scope 1.18.12.27 to have it there. And as soon as I connect the oscilloscope. To a USB port on my computer, then we'll find this. On COM port, it's coming up a Silicon Lab CP210X USB to URT bridge. In my case, it's COM5, you see, that's the one. So, to have this in order, you have to download from JTEC. From here, this driver, virtual COM port driver, USB bridge, and so on. So you have it here on JTEC. I'll, I'll put the link below. So then that needs to be installed. And as soon as it's installed, then it's very, very simple. I just, uh, I just copy, I just copy PC scope, or in fact, unzip PC scope here and a folder. And uh, as you may see on the oscilloscope now, I have a test signal of 10 kilohertz. And uh, it's set to 0 0.5 volts AC. Oh, focus, come on. And 20 milliseconds. Okay, so now let's have PC scope XC. The software it's on. I don't know if you may see it, but we have a port configuration there, so mine is COM5. Okay. Then we go to device, connect. The oscilloscope will connect to USB scope mode, as you may see. And after a while, 
Yeah, it's taking a while because it's pretty it's pretty lazy. The transfer is pretty lazy. Then we have this on the laptop. Well, it's not very fast, but at least it's happening something. Um, let's try to disconnect and connect again. Okay, it is for the port. Port 5. Okay, connect. Like I said, it's not so fast, it's not very fast, but, um, but it's interesting. Here we go. For now, the bad point is that you can't change anything from here. You know, like uh, sensitivity, sensitivity or time base or trigger mode or uh, AC coupling, DC coupling uh, and stuff like this. Uh, to do all these changings, we have to go back here and push exit. Then we go and do the adjustments like here, done. And then we have to go back here. Yes, port it in use. Disconnect, connect again. It's asking for the port. Device, connect. Now we should see the waveform on the screen in a couple of seconds. Okay, there we are. Okay, so uh, that's it for now. That's the idea of the thing. It's still experimental, but uh, it's a really nice feature for this uh, little oscilloscope because then you can use it uh, in connection with a laptop and uh, I suppose the software will be developed uh, some more and with some new features, uh, some new improvements and make it faster and so on. But for now I'm really happy for this. It's more than enough and like I say, this uh, little oscilloscope, it's not a toy. It's really, really working nice. Thank you for now.